Hi, this is Justin with ETC Tech Services, and today we're going to look at the available modes on the Echo DMX Scene Controller. The Echo DMX Scene Controller has two config modes, Basic Mode and Custom Mode. The mode is set with the Config Mode switch on the front of the device. Both modes have the same core purpose, to allow Echo System controls to speak to DMX-controlled equipment. Basic mode is exactly that, a basic snapshot functionality. DMX comes into the input and out the output. If a record action is given from an echo station, it records or snapshots the DMX passing through into that preset for later playback. Custom mode is used in combination with the Echo Access mobile app to further spe specify exactly how the DMX is output during echo control. Please note, the Echo Access mobile app requires an Echo Access interface for Bluetooth connection or an Echo expansion bridge for a Wi-Fi connection to your Echo system. After switching your Echo DMX scene controller to custom mode, we'll jump into the Echo Access mobile app. Custom mode is not really a snapshot of the DMX anymore. An Echo system has 16 zones of control within a single Echo space. Custom mode allows you to assign certain DMX values to these individual zones. Starting on the second page in the app, we can see each of the 16 zones laid out with no DMX addresses patched to them. You can patch DMX addresses to each zone as is needed for the control you are looking for. These zones will be controlled along with the same echo zone. For example, if you activate Echo Zone 1, then the DMX addresses patched in Zone 1 here will also be output at the same level as the Echo Zone. You can specify a profile as necessary with the Profile drop-down menu. This allows you to program the scene controller to communicate properly with various color-changing fixtures, such as RGB or warm white and cool white. This will add addresses in the ranges necessary for that profile type. You can also patch multiple zones at once using the patch wizard at the top of the screen. Jumping back to the first page in the app, we have some settings to further control what is output and what is not. In custom mode, by default, only the DMX patched to the zones will be recorded and controlled. At the top of this page, the setting control unpatched addresses can be enabled to give you back the ability to snapshot any unpatched addresses in that DMX universe along with those patched to the zones. This setting is disabled by default. Once this setting is enabled, we have another option underneath to allow space actions to affect unpatched addresses. This is also disabled by default. Enabling this setting will allow echo space-wide commands, such as space raise or space lower, to also control DMX addresses that are not patched to zones. The third setting, allow patch auto shift, is used for adding addresses to zones on page two, where we first looked at the app. If you have address one in zone one and address two in zone two, Having this setting enabled means adding address 2 into Zone 1 will automatically remove it from Zone 2, and address 3 will be patched into Zone 2 in its place, shifting the patch throughout the zones to keep this spacing layout. Leaving this setting disabled will simply remove address 2 from Zone 2 and leave all other addresses as they were. Next is the DMX refresh rate. This defaults to medium, which is good enough for most applications. If DMX data seems unstable or slow, this can be adjusted to slow, fast, or max settings. Power on behavior setting is what the scene controller will do when it first powers on from the 24 volt auxiliary power. DMX loss action and DMX active action dictate what actions, if any, are carried out at the loss of or receiving of DMX on the input header. The other pages are related more to the receiving of echo commands and include default fade times for each preset recorded to the scene controller on page three. The ability to enable and create an echo sequence from these presets is on page four 
and the turning on or off of demand response is on page five. 